Okay, so we're to get back to the ACR manual. Mostly, we're talking about. Um, it, you kind of mentioned clothing, um, underwear. You mentioned earlier. If you want to mm-hmm. kind of dive into that, so to speak. Um, well, the, first off, <laughs> <laughs> um, the um, the ACR guidance document now talks about uh, changing clothing. That uh, all patients should change out of street clothes to MR right. pr- to facility provided clothing oh, that's great our, our pref i mean they they clearly state that um they uh our preference for clothing is a hospital gown with no snaps and mm-hmm. scrub pants preferably no pockets right because okay? the scrub pants help with the skin to skin contact prevention right you know from finger touching a thigh or you know a thigh to thigh thigh to thigh you know so it, it, i like the scrub pants idea um, and then they also specifically mention underwear when the article of clothing, they say when the article of clothing was in the volume of the RF transmit coil, okay? because because there are numerous reports, and we have them in our course and everything, several examples of clothing that has uh, invisible microfibers, right? And this, right. this is real common now. Yeah, right. uh, in fact, you can go in, in our uh, – one of our presentations i've got this uh, uh clip of a uh, lady's underwear that you know was off of amazon.com and i and i knew what i was wanting to you know put in the slide because i'd seen it and so i had copied it was same the, day shipping right uh, oh <laughs> we had four and a half stars so eight pack color may vary they can actually. be here tomorrow <laughs> and they're hipster style <laughs> right. they but, really are you can but, change that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they had uh, so i was putting that in the 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 slide, you know, and right. I was working on, on my iPad, I think, at the time. My wife, my wife walks by and she goes, what are you doing? I go, oh, research. <laughs> <laughs> research. I swear. <laughs> right, I swear. It's research. I really <laughs> but anyway, but the, the tag on it, the, the thing says, uh, Hanes uh, hipster microfiber, no, microfiber hipster panties or something like that, but it says microfiber. Right. It mm. says it, okay? Right. And then there's all these others, cool comfort, you know, I mean, right. they, they – and it's very, very common. And the ACR in the manual specifically says that you can't go by the clo- the tag on the clothing because the, in, in mentioned in the manual, it says the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, allows clothing manufacturers a 5% error in the, in the makeup of – in the fabric. So you change 5% with certain materials, and that could create a problem in MRI. And then, of course, you know, you've got all this microfiber stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recommend some sort of a sign in the the dressing room that says, you know, you will be asked asked – you're going to be changing clothes. Right. And we think people that call to schedule the patient should tell them – you're going to be. You're going to have to change clothes. Right. Right. So don't tell them to wear something comfortable. You, you're going to have to change clothes. <laughs> exactly. You know? And um, with the underwear, you know, it, I'm I'm okay with with you know leaving it on if it's not going to be in the volume of the R or near the okay. volume of the R. I'm going to disagree with that right she now. Has, she okay. has a very big disagreement with that, okay. and she's right. got a valid point, but I just don't agree with it. Okay. okay. <laughs> so um, here's here's the deal with this. Um, we have a lot of people that attend our courses. Didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, okay. okay. It's karate chop. It's it's cool. just, it was, it's, I didn't hit him physically. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, the problem is, is a lot of people don't understand a transmit receive coil, and you know they don't understand right. versus the inherent body coil. Right. So this, I do not like blanket policies at all. But I believe, okay. So there's two reasons. Let's say, um, cre- just Bill. Bill scans a patient, and he does um, for a, a lumbar spine. So the underwear does need to come off because it's a receive only, you know, uh, spine coil. Okay, that's fine. Then the mm-hmm. patient comes back two weeks later, and creepy Kristen is now, you know, I'm, I, you know, I don't. He makes them. Well, you're creepy, Bill. Yeah, because I made he, him take it off. Right? And, and so then I do a trans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want, I want to make him the creepy one. Okay. Creepy, creepy yeah. Bill sounds like a T-shirt. Yeah. And, really, <laughs> and then. Uh, Caring Kristen, 
You know, it doesn't make the patient because they're using a transmit receive NyQuil. They're going to be like, who scanned me two weeks ago? Who's that creep? I'm going to be like, it's Bill Faulkner. <laughs> and um, Bill. 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 <laughs> and so um, to me, it's, it just sets the standard. Right. And then people that don't understand you're, you're mitigating your risk that's involved there. Right. And so I think that's a good blanket policy because patients, I would be like, why did you take my child's underwear off two weeks ago versus now? Oh, I hate it when patients say, they didn't make me do that last time. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. You know, and then, you know, but you have to say, you know, change, our technology's changed. Now, we've had several right. people in courses that really, you know, when we mention underwear, they go, oh, no, oh. no, that's not how we do it, right? Right. Okay, so so the, I'll t- 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 you mine first. So the, the one I was talking to says, we don't, we don't ask them to take their underwear off. We just ask them where they get their underwear. Okay, now, okay, so, so so let's just say I'm screening you for an MRI. All right, I'm ready for this. Okay, and so, hey, I'm Bill, I'm going to be doing your brain, you know, we're going to have you change clothes. And, and by the way, uh, wait, where, where do you get your underwear? Now, mm. see that? You know, <laughs> Creepy my, Bill's coming out. Yeah, right? my, my answer would be I get them in the third drawer. Hot you know? topic. <laughs> so get, where, do you get your, where do you get your underwear? And, right. if, you know, if that's, and, if it's, and, and if I was screening a lady, I mean, I don't know that she right. won't, you know and by the That's, way ma'am where do you get your underwear okay right so that i don't get That's okay tough. yeah yeah and then yours is the one you talked to was even better than that well, and i just want to throw this in there in case i forget because i'm getting old um you know if you if you go to the or for anything anything right. you're going to take your underwear off right. and this is a medical procedure it's not a day spa it's a medical procedure right exactly so people have to keep that in mind um my big one um there was i was talking to some about sedated patients and we underwear came up and they said well you know what we do is we wait until they're sedated and then we take their underwear off and i was Mm. like i said you know what if i like went to sleep with underwear on and woke up with them (laughs) off I'm going to be like, did creepy Bill scan me <laughs> again? <laughs> <laughs> that's concerned. Yeah, that so that's, that's. 